Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 2 under the topic polar plot. The problem is the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback system is given by this expression. Sketch the polar plot and determine the gate margin and phase margin. So the first step is we have to replace S by J omega. So when you replace here g of s becomes g of j omega and s square becomes j omega whole square. 1 plus s becomes 1 plus j omega and 1 plus 2s becomes 1 plus 2j omega. The next thing is we are going to find an expression for magnitude and another expression for phase angle. First we will start with magnitude. So the magnitude expression is nothing but we are going to take square root of this expression. That is here I am having omega square right. So here the thing is again I have to square this and again I have to take a square root. Okay, I have to take square root and I have to square the elements which are present inside. So this square and this square root will cancel each other. Finally I will be having omega square. Right. So here square root of real term is 1. 1 square is 1 and when you square root omega it becomes omega square. Similarly here square root of 1, be 1 becomes 1 and again 2 omega whole square right then the next thing is here this 2 omega whole square when you solve it becomes 2 square is 4 and omega square is omega square here right here I am having two different expressions under the square root so now I am going to combine these two expressions as they both have a square root so here omega square into square root of 1 plus omega square into 1 plus 4 omega square the next step is we are going to multiply these two things. So when you multiply what happens? Again 1 into 1, 1. 1 into omega square, omega square. Then 4 omega square into 1, 4 omega square. 4 omega square into omega square, 4 omega to the power 4. Right. So when you simplify 1, here I am having 2 omega square terms, right? So 1 omega square plus 4 omega square is 5 omega square plus this 4 omega to the power 4. So this is my final expression for the magnitude. Right. Now we are going to write the expression for phase angle. So again this is our basic expression right. This is our given problem I had modified as by j omega. Now as we already know an omega contributes an angle of 90 degree. Then what about omega square? This contributes an angle of 180 degree, right? 2 into 90, it's 180. Since this lies in denominator, I am moving this to the numerator part. So here I have included minus, right? Then the next thing is when you consider this expression, again tan inverse of imaginary term by real term. So tan inverse of imaginary term here is omega and the real term is 1. So tan inverse of omega by 1, it is nothing but tan inverse of omega. Again this is a denominator term, when you move this to the numerator, I had included minus here. And again when you consider the last term, the same thing, tan inverse of imaginary coefficient is 2 omega and divided by real term is 1. Again this is a denominator term, when I move this to the numerator, it becomes minus tan inverse of 2 omega, right. Then the next step is, we are going to find corner frequencies. So corner frequencies are nothing but we are going to take reciprocal of the coefficient of omega or coefficient of s directly from the problem. So here what is the coefficient of omega here? It is 1. Right. So when you take reciprocal 1 by 1 becomes 1 again. Again here what is the coefficient of omega? It is 2 here. So when you take reciprocal 1 by 2 becomes 0.5. Right. Only the least value should be given first number that is the corner frequency should be arranged in the ascending order. Okay, least should be given first and then the next higher number and then the next higher number. So here omega C1 is 0.5 radian per second and omega C2 is 1 radian per second. Right. Then the next thing is we are to we are going to frame a table. So here this table should contain your corner frequencies and the terms between the corner frequencies and the term which is less than your corner frequencies. Okay. The more number of frequencies you take, you will be getting a more accurate polar plot. That's it. So here, 
you see the values of the corner frequencies are 0.511 here I had included you see I am having 0.5 as well as 1 and in between I had taken certain range of values and a value lesser than the corner frequency also right now we are having expressions right using those two expressions we are going to find this magnitude as well as this phase angle so for phase angle we know that this is the expression for phase angle right so here in the table we had listed different values of omega right so here i am having different values of omega just substitute these omega values over there right and find out the value of the phase angle it will be very easy just by using a calculator you can do by yourself right then the next thing is for calculating magnitude also again we have derived an expression so this is the expression for calculating the magnitude and again as i said we are having different values of omega on the table so just substitute the values of omega over here and write down the respective values in the places in the table so finally we had formed a table which has magnitude as well as phase angle now we are going to plot these points on a polar sheet so this is our polar sheet and here the main thing to be noted is your polar sheet should be always kept in such a way that the right angle that is the right side of the polar sheet should be having 0 degree and the left side should be having 180 degree okay it is a mandatory it is must then depending upon the values of magnitude we have to select the values for these circles so here i have selected the values of circle as 1 2 3 4 and 5 and the next thing is you should always enlighten the uh, unity circle that is the circle with magnitude 1 is known as unity circle and here you should always highlight it so here i had highlighted you see right so these are all the basic things so whenever you took a polar sheet and writing the scale is must okay how you have taken the scale over here you should write for one circle here it stands for 0.1 magnitude right so now we are going to plot the points i'll explain here our first point is at a magnitude of 3.3 the angle is minus 246 right first find out where is your 3.3 circle so here you see this is my 3 and this is my 4 right so 3.3 will be 3.1 3.2 and 3.3 .3, okay this line is my 3.3 circle so when you move gradually right what is the angle it is minus 246 so here it is 240 and here it is 250 right so the angle which are represented in smaller size denotes they are negative angles okay always keep this in mind so here now we are going to plot minus 246 so here comes that point so this is my minus 246 right so the angle that is the magnitude is 3.3 .3, so this is my magnitude 3 circle so 3.1 3.2 3.3 .3, and the respective value of the angle is minus 246 so just keep a dot over here right and the next thing is for a magnitude of 2.5 the phase angle is minus 251 so here again this is my 2 right so 2.1 2.3 2.4 sorry this is my 2 so 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 and this is my 2.5 circle so in this circle when you move gradually the angle is minus 251 so this is my 250 here so here lies my 251 right and the next point is 1.9 magnitude the angle is minus 256 so this is my 1 and this is my 2 so here lies my 1.9 circle Magnet the phase angle is minus 256 so this is 250 and this is 260 between these two lies my 256 here right likewise you have to plot each and every point from the table on the polar sheet right so after plotting the points you have to join these points using a free hand right you should not use any scale here so let me join and show you so finally this is our polar plot right the next step is we are going to find the gain margin and phase margin 
So how to find a gain margin? The rule to find a gain margin is the plot which you are drawing here, right? It should cut your 180 degree line somewhere. But here what happens? Here this is our 180 degree line. But our plot didn't cut the 180 degree line at any point, right? So now what to do? We are assuming that this line will cut this 180 degree line somewhere at infinity. Okay, you just assume like this. It will go like this and somewhere at some other point it will cut. It will intersect the 180 degree line. Right. So here what we are taking is I am assuming this plot will cut this 180 degree line somewhere at infinity. So 1 divided by infinity. So anything divided by infinity is 0. Right. So the gain margin for this particular plot is 0. Right. Then we are going to find the phase margin. So how to find the phase margin here? As usual, we should, there is a point where our plot just meets the unity circle. Right. So at this point, exactly measure what is the angle. You see here it is exactly intersecting. So what is the angle here? Okay, no need of scale, you can directly see, right, it is 270 degree, right, so here that is 270 means either it is plus or minus 270, okay, the number in smaller size, so this represents a negative angle, so here just substitute the values, so it will be 180 minus 270, so what is the value, 180 minus 270 will give you the answer as minus 90 degree. Right. So, that's all. The problem gets over here. Hope you people understand well. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.